as we approach the icon ick master in its natural environment, we are going to discover more about its behavior, about its traits, about what we can expect. I think today we are going to pick. We're going to figure it out. Here we go. Today we're going to go for the patrons. I just don't know as the supplies continue to show up by the day. We need to find the best, the best, the best. There it is. The best iconic masters ever. Crap. Oh, jeez. We are going to find by far the best box. I've been studying the behaviors of iconic master, the abilities, the traits, the mannerisms. I've been logging things. I've been making fancy charts. So we've discovered the pattern, the secret, how to game the system, and everything about it. To take people, one day at a time, out of their safe place. And to make people realize what's really happening. So today, everybody can return to their safe place. Because all we're going to do is open more of these beautiful purple boxes that everybody says is the end of the, the just the end of days. And we're going to see if my studying of the behavior of these purple people eater boxes is really going to be the best of the best. Welcome in, Rudy with Alpha Investments. I hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend. This is a finally official Iconic Masters release day. This video is supported by Dr. Charles H. He is a PhD mathematician that is working on the meaning of human existence in life. Charles says that uh, he likes long walks on the beach. He's a very nice individual and he wishes the best for everybody. Charles, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And we will see. Will Charles get an entire box only worth $5? Only time will tell. Here we go. I hope everybody's enjoying Iconic Masters. It is official release day. And, uh, uh, well, Blood Baron is not how we want to start it off. But I have a lot of confidence for today. I feel like we're going to see some weird stuff. And um, I wish my patrons the best. I hope they get some really good pulls. Primeval Titan. Is that still 5 10 bucks? I, I have no idea what the price I, I should have checked the prices today. I know on new releases like this, they change pretty rapidly. So obviously, uh, this is actual release day Friday. So um, obviously, these prices, if you're watching it on release day, will be somewhat accurate. If you're watching the next day or a week later, God knows where they are. Wow, that's cool. Foil Helix. Look at that foil lightning helix. That is really cool. Okay, that's... I think a regular lightning helix is still 2 $3, isn't it? It's actually uh, it's pretty good. And Rune Scarred, it's about four bucks, I think. Foil Dragon Tempest, another Dragons of Tartia reprint. All right. So, uh, everybody's still running for the hills and scared out of their mind about Iconic Masters. Ah, uh, the Chambreka Devils. Nobody cares. Look at that Dragon Egg. You guys know that's where I came from. Did I ever tell you guys that? All right, moving on. We're going to keep this very, very serious, guys. We're not going to fuck around today. I mean, crap. Ah, Knight of the Relinquary. Still a couple dollar card. Child of the Night. That looks like my grandmother. And alrighty, here we go. Alright, come on. Let's get some big hits today, kids. Alright, Gutter Snipe. Do your thing. Spirit Monger. Uh, once upon a time. The Mire. Once upon a time. And a little beastie guy. Wow. Um, oh, I can feel the comments burning in my... Yeah, you know what? I feel the comments burning already. Rudy, we're trying to tell you. It's garbage fire set. Garbage fire set. Ivy Elemental. You know, we're going to stop for a second here because I have to admit, I, I want, I'm almost, and I, I'm, a, I'm hesitant to say it, but I'm thinking the card quality might be a little better. The card quality feels a little bit more thicker and, oh, ugh, look at those corners. They don't even cut the same. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, come on, Wizards. Get the card quality thing under control. Hellkite. Uh, ooh, foil Mana Leak. It's one of the better foil commons you can get. 
Well, we're only a third of the way through the box, and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, Charles, uh, so far, I'm sorry, bro. We're not exactly uh, doing anything amazing here. Knight of Souls. <sighs> really? Butcher Glee? <sighs> Dude, we are swinging and I'm missing, guys. I think I can feel people just walking out of the video and closing it right now. Lotus Cobra, there we go. Finally got a decent rare. Jesus. Amass the components. We've got one mythic in pretty much what? A Lotus Cobra? Dude, we are not doing so hot, guys. I finally. Jeez. Keeping it calm, you guys. All right, we got a Grove. I was like, dude, come on. Where's our good hits? Grove of the Burns. Feel the burn, everybody. Feel the burn. Nobody? Too soon? All right, I'll let you guys wake up. All right, and not that angel. We don't want that angel. See, that's how Rudy gets so smart. He has long walks on the beach at night. All right. Voice is getting a little bit better, if you guys haven't noticed. Hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. And, hey, blood gas. All right, is that still 10 bucks, hopefully? It was like, uh, that was like 15 20 for a while, but even with it down to like 10 that's still pretty good. It's actually held up pretty good. All right, we got ourselves a bobble, finally. Uh, Scourge, uh, Eternal Thirst, that's nice. So, by the way, I'm very surprised that Bobble is still holding it. $4 a card? Really? I really didn't see that coming. I thought for sure it would go to like a dollar. Ah, uh, Thundermaw Hellkite, once upon a time, right everybody? Well, that's our second Mythic, Foil Fireball. Oh boy. Yep, Rudy was wrong. Holy crap, was Rudy wrong. We are not doing good, guys. Tide Star, Foil Dark Steel Axe. Holy crap, come on. Give us a hit out of the end here, guys. Dude, seriously, man, I am sorry. Avacyn, there we go, finally. There's a decent, is that a third? It's a third mythic. Crap, I thought that was a rare. I love those, uh, I love that land cycle. It's one of my favorite. Um, crap. Well, I think we already hit our three mythics of the box. I don't think we're going to get any more mythics. So that's definitely not a good sign for the mythic category. Anger of the Gods, couple bucks. Rune Servitor, so eh. So we burned all our mythics. Um, we probably got literally like $25 worth of mythic value in the box. We hit all the bad stuff. Sky Swallower, Jesus. Foil Rare, the Red Spirit Dragon. Shit. Sorry, guys. This first box is turning out to be a garbage fire. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it to you all. It's just not turning out good. Oblivion Stone, that's a couple bucks decent. Shimmering Grotto would be decent. They, didn't flip, they just reprinted Shimmering Grotto. They even put it in Conspiracy too. It's so weird. Well. We got a Lightning Helix at least. Well, we got a fourth Mythic. An Obnix. The box feels so bad for us. They give us a fourth Mythic. Another, uh, was it a Dragons or a Cons common reprint? Wow, at least you got four Mythics, right, everybody? Well, two packs left to box one. Serum Powder, Hunt of the Week. Wow, this is a shit box. This is flipping garbage fire. Oh, crap. By far the worst Iconic Master box opening so far. Charles, I am so sorry, bro. Dude. I'm pulling. I hope we can get you a better second box. That first box was so bad. I'm gonna guess. Uh, what do you guys think? Like seventy-five dollar box. That was not cool. Not cool at all. But you know, box two has been pretty lucky for us. So uh, come on, we don't need to do a double tap hose on Charles. All right, box two, guys. Come on, for the love of God. Neither of them. All right, all right. Foul tongue. Okay. So we got a knight in the first pack. I think it's still what two, three bucks. Okay, here we go. And aether vial. There we finally. Like, where are we? There's so many decent rares in this set. How did we hit none? We got a grove in the first box. All right, there we go. We got a knight and aether vial. Boom. Okay. So box two has really got some momentum going here. Hopefully that doesn't stall out. Thoughtsy. There we go. Wow. Box twos. I tell you guys what. Wow, and a thought sees. Holy crap, we're hitting some really good stuff here. Okay, let's see here. Man, I swear, it's like all the videos, like box two, feels like it's like we hit all the good stuff every time we have a box two. Green Rising Star, nothing too crazy on that one. 
least those aren't mythics. Guild Mage. Fitzcopa. I used to love saying that word. Fitzcopa Guild Mage. Okay. Here we go. Sky White. Ooh, Dynamo. Genesis Wave. Couple bucks, or at least it was. All right. Man, I'm so glad box two is turning out to be a way stronger box than that garbage fire of a box one. Kiki Jiki. God, who remembers when this was 20 bucks? Pepperidge Farms remembers. Man, that was once. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Whoa! Oh, my God! What a pack! Holy crap, and that is how fast your luck can change in this game, everybody. Congratulations, Charles. Dude, that is, that is awesome. Holy smokes. Wow. Oh, crap. Okay. Woo! Whoa, man. Holy smokes, you guys. Holy crap. Once again, box two. Talk about volatility. Cryptic command now. Holy shit. Bam. That is what's happening. Wow. Oh, my God. Taylor? Uh, or Taylor. <laughs> Like, wait a minute. Isn't this page from Charles? I don't know why I said Taylor. I think the was it. I don't know where I got that. All right. Anyways, holy crap! Blood Baron, nothing great. A couple bucks maybe. Oh god, this box too. Animal, flipping animal. Oh my god. Oblivion Stone. Okay, a couple bucks. Ooh, foil Jace Phantasm. That's actually a. You know, an M13 when that Jace's Phantasm was printed uncommon. I was selling them for two dollars a card. I probably sold like three hundred of them. All right, wow, lightning helix. There we go, and terrible rare. Okay, and talisman. Who remembers the talisman? Wow. Okay, so we're only at one mythic in box two. If we hit, good God help. If we hit a manager, oh my God. And now we got a horizon canopy. Once again, I swear to God, the track printing, the track printing in this set must be messed up. I mean, this has happened now three times on camera. Look at the other Iconic Master openings. Like, you either get everything or you get nothing. Is anybody noticing that? Spirit Monger. Didn't we get that already? No, that was box one. I'm sorry. But yeah, definitely, they don't seem to be, I don't know, randomized very well. Lotus Cobra, another go. Oh my sh- <laughs> <coughs> Oh my god. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Are you serious? One box? Get the hell out of here. All right, I'm out of here. Get the hell out of here. I'm leaving. I'm literally leaving. I'll see you guys. I, this is stupid. No, I'm kidding. I'm coming back. Oh my God. Wow. This might be the best Iconic Master Booster Box opening ever. Another bobble and a Hellkite. I have never seen a double foil hit that good in one box. I have never, ever seen something like that. That is absolutely just beyond the realm of just normal probability. and every I just... Charles, man... I told you to hang with me, man. Green screen would kick in. We had some glitches. $10 Whispering one, not bad. It's our second Mythic. I told you to hang with me. I appreciate the support. I, dude, that's awesome, man. I am definitely going to delete this video and refilm this and act like this box never happened. River of Tears. I think it's still two, three bucks, right? <clears throat> oh my god, this is incredible. I have no idea what the foil prices are, but that has to be. Day of the Dragons, blue one, Scion of Ugin. Whoa, oh my god. That really just, that rocked me, you guys. That flipping rocked me. Ooh, $5 command with a beautiful Simic Growth Chamber foil. Wow, holy smokes. See, guys, stay with it. Magas in the Moon, $10 rare. And funny looking common foil. Well, we're down to the last couple packs for this opening. Holy smokes. I mean, just... Oh, my God. And we're still getting hits. An Orc Champion searching for more money. 
Oh my god. We're still getting hits. Charles, we're still getting hits. Another bobble. Blue Tide Star. Beautiful Sarah Angel. Oh. Wow. Dude, these I love this this make these openings on a box that's incredible and sharing it with the world. Another mythic, $10 Archangel. There we go. Th this just makes it all worth it. This is the best part about doing box openings for everybody, especially when it's somebody else's. The share in that moment of just mind blowing. All right, holy crap. Congratulations, Charles. I'm gonna clean this up for the next patron. Thanks so much for the support, everybody. What an incredible, absolutely incredible box too, everybody. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Here we go, everybody. Oh, I, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't know if we're going to top that box too again. Of course, every time I say that, you know, we go, we can just get something just, you know, we've had, have we even had a foil mythic? Like even a bad one. I don't even know if we've had a, even a bad foil mythic. I just realized that. Have we been getting foil mythics at all? Um, I can't really recall. I mean, we're getting all these crazy good foil rares, but I don't know. Anyways, all right, well, you guys ready to do it again? Feeling lucky? Oh, well, these two boxes belong to my patron supporter. The, actually, it's this company, I believe, uh, Pro IT Incorporated. So, that sounds like some sort of shady, maybe like assassin secret underground industry. I don't know. I'm going to start a company called Pro Rudy. What do you guys think? Let's get into this, guys. Here we go. Crucible of Fire. Foil Rakdos. I always love that circus-looking card. All right. Well, let's see if, again, we've hit, I think, how many mana drains have we gotten? Like, flipping one? I mean, seriously. Ooh, there's the swords. And Anger of the Gods and a beautiful Disenchant. Well, hopefully we don't just wreck our first box like we did on the last one where the first box was just terrible. Hopefully we can actually get a decent first box. Ah, uh, the Graven. That used to be a decent card. I think it's probably down to, what, a couple flipping dollars now? I mean, seriously. Earth Elemental. Earth Elemental. Anybody remember that's a throwback card from the old uh, ABU era, right? Anybody? That was uh, classic old school, guys. Another Sky Swallower with another Drake. It's always so interesting when they use Drake versus Dragon. Kind of like, all right, that's a little uh, strange in my opinion. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, another Angel, not a, really a, a home run hitting Angel. Leave the Stampede. Well, is uh, this box is not starting off good. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I swear to, I mean, it was like one of every two boxes terrible or something. Balith and Battle Priest. Godly, dude. Um, I don't think we've hit anything. This is like, this is dumpster garbage fire. Night of the Souls. Good, this is terrible. What the hell? <sighs> okay. God, talk about an emotional roller coaster, you guys. A Sphinx? Terrible. Survival? Terrible. Oh, boy. Um, crap. I don't know what the deal is with this. Really? Really? Well, we're a third of the way through the box, and we've probably got, what, $10? Holy shit, guys, this is terrible. Supreme Verdict was at four bucks? Oh, my God. Dude, we need a, we're going to need a, like a blowout ending here. Otherwise, we're, this is going to be a massive hose town. Oh my God, it's still continuing garbage. So we're halfway through the box. We've got no mythics and nothing worth over $5. Oh my God. A glimpse, finally a $10 card. We got one $10 card. Oh my God, dude. Um, I'm really sorry, Mr. Pro IT Incorporated of America. Holy smokes. This is... Eh, Voice of Hunger. Is that like $5? Or at least it was. We got one Mythic. Grizzly Spect. One Mythic. 
Oh, yikes. Okay, I'm, I'm sweating. I'm getting a little nervous now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Path of Bravery. Oh, okay, okay. Foil Nimbus Maze. Is Nimbus Maze still five bucks? Foil's probably, that's a ten dollar, that's a nice foil rare. Okay, that's cool. I mean, it's not the Grove or anything. It's not, you know, but hey, that's cool. It's not Horizon Canopy or Grove, but you know, hey. Okay. Dynamo. Restoration Angel. Okay, a little better. Of course, Evolving Wilds, because, you know, there's a shortage of Evolving Wilds, apparently. All right. Come on, let's get some upticks, man. Serum powder. Ugh, crap. Wow. Um, when I thought box one in this video was going to be the worst box ever, I'm actually going to restart Lightning Helix, the Red Falling Star, and a Wall of Roots. Shit. What on earth? Is, is this, like, really... Holy smokes. Flusterstorm! Finally! Finally! Is Flusterstorm, I mean, 30 bucks, was it? Finally, a 30. Thank God. I was like, dude, at this point, I'm just hoping for a $100 box. I mean, just come on. There we go. That's a good auger. Okay, $10 Mythic. We got a second Mythic, 10 bucks. Oh, this is brutal, guys. Yeah, uh, Sarah sent it. Okay, that uh, was ten, I think. Okay, so we got another ten. Okay, so we got we're getting a little momentum in the close. Too bad the momentum started so flipping late. I asked her to dinner, by the way, guys. She turned me down. And um, we can get some a little bit more energy at the end. Genesis wave. It's a couple dollars. I have elemental. Well, three packs left of this iconic masters garbage fire box, guys. Holy crap. Lord of the Pit, iconic, but no. Hell, the Mana Leak foil is worth more than that rare. <sighs> well, come on. Oh, come on, that's shit. Ah, oh, bubbling call, that's shit too. Last pack of box one. Two Mythic box. Probably a $100 box, I'm guessing. Please, 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 please. Ah. Oh. $100 box. Talk about it. Just a pound. Pound in the face. Terrible. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. That was a bad box. No way around it. Well, I'm hoping for another like $300 box to counteract that because uh, we're in pretty deep. It's like gambler's fallacy. We're in so deep now. We need something even bigger just to bring us back. So... All right, all right. Green Rising Star and Aerial Population. Heh, <laughs> Population. I think it was actually Aerial Predation. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Box two, Swords, Fire Mane. Ah, oh, crap. You know, if I'm learning anything about these Iconic Master Boxes, you have, some boxes are incredibly valuable. There's no way to argue that. But the majority of the boxes are, are subpar compared to, relatively compared to other master sets. You know, if you're paying $240 for the full price of a master set like this, it's a huge miss on Wizards' part. Thoughtseize, finally! God, finally a good flipping rare. Oh my goodness. Oh, finally, we get some good flipping rares, guys. Oh, that other box was just so bad. I'm just like, come on. All right, so this is this box has already been a lot better, and we've literally just started. A couple dollar rune scarred, blinding mage, blinded by the light. So at least this one's already off to a better start. Can't be any worse than the other box, right, guys? All right, white morning star, not too bad. Oh, every time I see those foil lands, I get excited. Remember the uh, the white morning star? I think is like the five dollar one. The black one is like the the ten dollar really good one, if I remember correctly. Uh, Emmer got the same one from the other box. Vent Sentinel again. Ugh. So why are we getting the exact same flipping thing? All right. Supreme verdict. Yeah, well, that's a couple dollars again. Foil duress. Well, we're getting a little bit of value, but. Def oh, finally. Hey, we got that uncommon bobble. That's nice. River of Tears. Couple dollars. 
Nature's claim, a couple dollars. All right. Here we go, here we go. Let's keep it going, kids. Keep it going. All right. And Path of Bravery. Ugh, that's terrible. Phantom Monster. Man, so I know everybody's opinion overall is still, if you're a store owner distributor, you're panicking over this set because it's the end of Master Sets as we know it. Ooh, Blood Guess. All right. Ten bucks. If you're a individual player, collector, investor, whatever tier you're at, you know, you're kind of shunning the set because it's garbage. And, uh, you know, when you open bad boxes, it sure feels that way. Hell yeah, finally! Another Flusterstorm. That's good. And just a Chronicle. Okay. All right, good. This second box is a lot better. If we can get some decent Mythics and keep these rares flowing, because there's definitely a lot of money in the rare slot if you can hit it quite... Ooh, Lotus Cobra. There we go. Another Seeker of the Way. That's the biggest thing that stands out to me. You do have some value in the uncommon slot, but overall your value in this set is the rare slot. There is a lot of five ten dollar rares. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. So, and then of course, if you can hit, you know, foil versions, holy crap. You really spike up. Uh boy, we're getting a lot of these foil uh uncommon land cycles. Well, <clears throat> we got about 12 packs left of this box. Uh, we need a little bit more energy. Oh, okay, okay. Elish Nor, we've got a Mythic. Uh, is that our first Mythic of this box? I think it might be our first Mythic. Huh. Alright, that's... Oh my god, there she is. There she is, everybody! Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe we did it. Oh. Mana Drain, guys. We got a flipping Mana Drain. Dude, congratulations, man. That's awesome. Holy crap, that's an amazing card. Amazing hit, amazing card, everything. Cryptic! Oh, God, now we're spitting out money. And that, see, that was just what I was saying. These, these boxes just... Man, you, if you just buy one box and you get a bad one, you just think it's the worst set ever. And some of these other boxes are just... Ooh, hello, look at that. Foil Swords with a Restoration. That's a nice pack again. Boy, right in the clothes on box four, everybody. Wow, talk about just what an ending, huh? The black, all right, the black evening star, $10 and a mannequin. That's really sweet. Well, box two turned out to be a good hit. Box one, again, ends up being a, not box one, ooh, lightning helix. And crucible of fire with a, oh, is that a full rare? Mage of Zephyr. Well, we got three packs left. Um, well, box four, which is this one, really turned out good. Box three, which is the one before this, it got really rough, guys. Uh, the Balath and the Ward. Wow, what an emotional roller coaster. Hope you guys are enjoying these box openings to get a kind of a good feel of everything. Nimbus Maze, big fan of that card. And the Greater Basilisk. All right, last pack for you, Mr. Pro IT Incorporated LLC Gmail Super Incorporation. Bobble, nice way. And a Genesis Hydra. Thank you for the support, sir. I hope you guys enjoyed the box opening videos, and then we clean it up. We got one more today, and that's it. But boy, wow. <laughs> Look how beautiful and nice and clean everything is. Well, it's our final, final round in this video. As we continue to try to decipher, well, Iconic Masters. Crack the code, figured out what the hell the real deal is. Mrs. Lauren, I hope you're a lucky young lady. Because, man, some people are hitting it big on this, and some people are just getting pounded. It is, the volatility is real, everybody. So, Lauren, thank you very much. I really appreciate the support. I wish you the best of luck. And quite frankly, uh, let's see how it goes, eh? Okay, here we go. And we're starting off. Rising Star Green. Thrill Kill. Okay. Well, so far we've had a lot of ups and downs. Uh, haven't really been able to figure out anything interesting, except the uh, the randomization doesn't seem to be too clear. But Simic Sky Swallower. Oh, what do we got? Ah, uh, just a foil Demir. I see those foil lands, I get all excited. I was like, oh, oh. All right, here we go. 
All right. In. Oh, we don't want that as our mythic. Well, we use one of the old mythics as our necro. I think that's still maybe like a $5 mythic. Old school Ice Age card. Uh, kind of strange they put that in a, a mythic slot. Cause wasn't that Eternal Masters mythic? Also, I thought. Hypersonic, terrible. Moon Glove Extract. Well, um, yikes. Definitely not a lot of momentum into the start here, everybody. Still a little too early to tell what direction we're going. Ooh, oh, I see a land. Oh, not bad, not bad. Not Grove of the Burns or anything, but you know what? Honestly, to have a great to have this as a foil rare, I don't think that's really that bad. I really don't. I used to be a huge fan of that particular card. I mean, I know the price is nowhere near what it used to be. Ooh, Dynamo. Oh, come on. Lauren, I'm sorry. $2 Mythic. Two Mythics used up now. Crap. Well, this isn't going good at all. Swords to Plow, Path of Bravery, Rudy in the Woods. Well, yikes. Boy, um, I, I, uh, guy needs some confidence, everybody. Sarah Sennant, eh, five, ten bucks. Not bad, Dancing Rudy. Well, we, that's like the best rare we've gotten so far that's not a Mythic, so it was ten dollars. I don't know what it's at now. All right, gutter, cousin, five dollar command. Okay, heat ray. At least we're getting five ten dollar cards now. That's good. Nothing worse than a bunch of bulk ninety nine cent cards. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, mage of Zalafi, and yeah, just a scorpion. Hmm. Well, overall, I'm gonna call so far. We definitely on the weaker side of a box. Not a complete hose town yet. Too soon to tell. Great. Really? Oh, we got one to match our foil one back here, right, everybody? All right, that's kind of uh, ironic. Elusive Spell Fist. Reprint Dragons of Tarkir Common Foil. All right, that's uh, interesting. Thrall Monument. Genesis Wave, a couple bucks. I love that Falm. That's just such a beautiful card, isn't it, everybody? No value, I know, but just such a beautiful card. Well, um, Lauren, we're about halfway through the box. Um, I'm sorry. It's just, this is a weak box. This is, I mean, oh, crap. Are you shitting me? Obnix is, a, well, we got a third mythic, but, oh, my God. I hate to say it, but this is what happens when just things don't go well. And the true colors come out of uh, Iconic Masters. Oh, at least we got a champion. Is that still five, ten bucks? Oh, you need a bigger shield. You know, this is the, uh, the negative side of the coin where you can burn out your three mythics and all five dollar cards type thing. And it can be painful. Blood Baron! Holy shit! Oh god. Man. Wow. Okay. God, Lady Luck just totally snuck up on me. Oh my god. Holy crap. Um... I think this is, is this like a 50 to $70 card? Oh my God, that's beautiful. Holy crap. That's amazing. We got two, look at the foil, wow. Holy crap, that is awesome. Dude, that is amazing. Talk about a huge turn. That's probably worth almost as much as a flipping mana drain. Oh my God. Ooh, Lotus Cobra, there we go. There's another $5 rare. I love that foil. Whoa, okay. Oh, boy, that really snuck up on us. Did not see that coming at all after we already got a foil rare. Lord of the Pit, terrible. And a spider. Well, last third of box one. And uh, quite frankly, uh, I was going to say complete garbage fire box, but... Uh, not the... Pr yeah, that's terrible. Uh, if we can actually get maybe another couple good cards, maybe a cryptic command type card, or any form of ancestral vision or something. Ah, uh, the Baleth is not going to be it. Whoa, that foiling it. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. Uh, if we can get one or two more good things in the close, actually the box will actually recover and actually be decent. That foil horizon canopy, that is a, that's a, shoot, that's a game changer, man. Whoa. 
All right, come on, come on. Ah, uh, Tide Star. Whoa! Oh God! Are you serious? Whoa! Okay. Foil bobble. Holy crap! It's like forty bucks. Whoa! How beautiful is that? Jewelry of the set, everybody. Wow. Well, Lauren. Um. Jeez, these foils. I mean, the regular cards are terrible, but the foils you're getting. Holy smokes. Three and Dynamo. Dynamo. We got a Hellkite. Again, got another Mythic. Um, wow, four Mythic box. Too bad all the Mythics are weak. At least you got four of them, though, versus two. That's kind of compensation. Wow, what a box. Oh, $10 of the moon. Mark of Mutiny. Okay, another $10 card. <coughs> Well, um, I think I may have called this box, um, week way, way too soon. Lightning Neelix? Oh my god. Shut the front door. Shut the front door, everybody. Are you, are we, are you kidding me right now? Are, are we serious? Okay. This is, now you're getting to the point where I'm getting suspicious, like the videos. Uh, I guess another $30 Horizon canopy. Whoa, what a U-turn of a box. For those of you still watching this far into the video, I mean, I'm glad you stayed with me, because, wow. Rising Star. What a first box. Oh, my God. That was the biggest, like, depressing start box that ended up turning out good. I, that was an incredible rebound. Come on, Lauren. That was, that was the rebound box. That was... Really impressive. I mean, just... Wow. Okay. Well, box two, final one. <coughs> okay. Wow. Okay, um... Actually, box one turned out good. I didn't think it would. Alright, Day of the Dragon. Oh my god. Really? First pack, foil, mythic. Okay, I don't know what that's worth. It's maybe only 10, 15 bucks, but again, the foils, holy smokes. The foils are destroying me, just, whoa. Angel. Oh, God, if we can just get some decent regular cards. I mean, holy smokes. All right, that's good, good. Black Evening Star, 10 bucks. Foil Evolving Wild, beautiful art, terrible value. Just can't believe these foils, guys. Oop, crap, keep hitting the camera. You guys still there? Okay, sorry. I think I keep knocking the camera. Ooh. Okay. Anyways, oh my god, I'm just I'm speechless. Okay, here we go. Kiki Jiki, well... One thing I can tell you, these boxes are very heavy on the mythic quantity. Um, this is the first mythic of the second box. Kiki Jiki obviously has a pretty volatile story. It used to be a $20 mythic, then 10 With the reprints, it's down to like 5 River of Tears. I love these land cycles from Future Sight. I really do. I know they're not the most expensive. But that has got, to me, that's so soothing. Earth Elemental. Well... Whew, oh my god, the foils in this. Alright. Oblivion Stone. Cool hit. Definitely a good hit. Rakdos Drake. Alright, alright. Here we go. Restoration Angel. Not too bad. Assault Formation. Who remembers that from the old dragons of Tarkir, huh? Alright, alright. Well... I hope you guys are enjoying all these box openings. Oh my god. Well, congratulations, Lauren. You're actually now converting to the category of you're beating the odds. Aether Vial. Boom. Major $30 hit for everybody. Holy smokes. We are... Oh my god. Are you serious? F Flusterstorm now? Well, this was like 50, 60. I'm sure it's only like 30 now, but holy crap. <clears throat> oh my god. 
Swords? Oh my god. You know, hold on a second, guys. For those of you still watching, is anybody noticing every time I'm getting... Do you? Is anybody noticing that they seem to be coming together? Like they're not mixed or sorted well? Is anybody noticing this? Because this, this is about... I've been filming all these openings. And I'm getting to the point where it's getting suspicious where... If you go back in the filming, all the certain boxes that do well hit these one after another, and the boxes that don't do well aren't getting any of them. Is anybody else picking up on this, or is it just me with flipping tinfoil hat? Because I'm getting really suspicious on the pools on how these are working. Hydra, Thrall. Well, we're only halfway through the box, but nonetheless, Lord, I really appreciate the support, young lady. Holy smokes, I mean, congratulations on the good hits and the mind-blowingly good foils. Ooh, $10 glimpse, there you go. Beautiful foil repeal. I mean, honestly, it started off so bad. Like, I can't imagine your reaction when we first started this in the first box, and you were just like, oh my god, my first box. Ooh, Sphinx. Oh my god. Okay. Foil Oblivion Stone, that's really good. And a $10 Sphinx. Another Mythic. Wow, you're at... What are we at? Seven Mythics, I think? Wow, and a Foil Oblivion Stone. The foils you're getting. These are the best foils out of all the boxes we've opened. I mean, this is incredible. Not the good Sphinx. Emerge Unscathed. Boy, the coloring on that is really good quality. All right. Another bobble. Knight of the Soul. Actually, wow, Foil Electrolyze is actually a couple dollars. That's actually a good foil. I mean, you know, for the first box that had weak non-foil cards, the foils were so powerful, it carried the whole value of the box. It's Crucible of Fire, Hemahand. <coughs> All right, here we go. Lightning Helix. Wow. Meg the Moon again. $10 again. Cool Hoarding Dragon. I love that M15 guard. All right, well, we're getting ready to wrap this up. Boy, have I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope my voice doesn't sound too bad to you guys. Persecutor! Uh, Fabrixian Raja. But man, these have been a really interesting... I guess I would say a really interesting learning experience. It's been a very, very strange feeling master set. <laughs> Look at that kitty. That's cool. I mean, just a very bizarre feeling set. Definitely not a $240 booster box MSRP type product and Genesis wave and condescend but overall I gotta admit boxes we've been opening you know everybody can call it what they want another bobble five dollar command two dollar star compass that's you know that's again these you know call it what you want everybody the fear and the emotions real but at the end of the day the data is not lying. The data is not that bad. Doom Traveler. Last two packs. I mean, I understand this isn't a four or $500 super ridiculous like some of the other Master Sets, but I don't think it deserves the reputation it's getting. Rune Scod. And the Rhino. The very last pack. I hope everybody's enjoyed the ridiculousness. This is it. Patrons, I really appreciate the support, everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying everything. Relax and have a good time. We're going to the holidays. Remember, everybody... Life's too short to be miserable. Have some fun. Relax. Don't stress out. Thank you so much for all the support and everybody. This has been a great time. Lauren, appreciate it. Congratulations because, wow, you did really good. You guys have a great day.